Good morning, good morning. Big Swear, RoadToRuda.com with your morning horn of Z's, your sip of coffee, the morning news. Today we're going to talk about cryptos and the uh, other news of the day. Um, cryptos are in a pullback like uh, they have been many times before in the past. Um, it's a bigger pullback because it ran up much higher than it usually had in the past. Technology hasn't changed. Nothing's really changed. The people who are in this game, the traders are loving this. They, That's exactly what they do. They slam it down or sell their shares at the top and they buy at the bottom. That's the way a free market should work. And it's, you're watching a free market in action. Um, the stories, almost all the cryptos are even better than they were before. Except uh, there's there was a little froth in the market. And now that froth has come out or is in the process of coming out. I am not worried at all. You shouldn't be worried either. Uh, you weren't going to sell your cryptos today anyway. Just keep telling yourself that. Yes, you wish you had bought low and sold high and bought low and sold high and bought low and sold high. If you're a trader, that's what you do or that's what you try to do. Um, a lot of traders get caught out on that. But, uh, you know, it's part of the game. So I'm not worried at all. You shouldn't be worried at all. Just put your cryptos uh, in your safe and go to sleep at night knowing that come 2018 your cryptos are going to be probably your most valuable asset and uh, along with silver now silver is a uh, is a different story because it's manipulated every single day and it's not necessarily the traders doing it it is the u.s government to protect the value of the unbacked fiat monetary system but let's take a look at some of the carnage over the last couple of days Bitcoin uh, down 10%. You know, I heard a lot of the traders, the big traders, uh, because there's not much of a, uh, a hedging mechanism for the cryptocurrencies, um, when they believe a, a slam is going to happen or a downdraft is going to happen, they hide in Bitcoin. So Bitcoin will go up a little bit right before the latest slam, and then um, it won't go down as much and then they'll sell their Bitcoin and load up on the other cryptos. Um, there was a lot of rumor of that and talk of that, but rumors and talk is what traders love and they're going to spread false rumors because this market is not, you know, it's not heavily traded at all. Um, Ethereum is a great example. Yes. The Ethereum network has been massively slowed down because of the, all the ICOs because of the popularity of Ethereum and using it for the ICOs. That's why it went up, and that's why it's getting slammed down right now. Uh, it's at 228, still hugely up for the year. Um, and let's take a look at the Ethereum chart. There we go. It's 228 right now. And just look at what it's done since, I mean, it was down at like $15. Remember that. You know, everything needs to be put into perspective. Um, but yeah, there it'll come probably, I would say, 50% of its high. Uh, the traders will start getting back in and that's how the, the bottom is is made and and you can tell we're nearing that bottom because all the rumors are coming out of oh it doesn't work it's bad it's blah 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 and here's here's the latest one look at this one rumors that Vitalik had died it's a death hoax that was put out on the internet and that's what these traders do to get everybody out and then they load up for the next ride up so Vitalik came out. This is a great way to prove that you're alive. Another use of the blockchain. Uh, he came out and said, I'm not dead. Oh, by the way, here's the block number we're on today. And here's the uh, the hash we're on. It, it's quite funny how he did that. And the guy's brilliant. Um, but yeah, he is an important part of Ethereum. But there are a lot of important people um, at Ethereum. And, and it's not just him. Uh, but he is the face guy. Uh, and I think uh, it's it's exciting time for Ethereum because it, it's become so popular with these ICOs. And it'll just get worse in popularity. Hopefully there'll be technical breakthroughs that uh, will alleviate all the backlog and things like that. So I'm not worried at all about Ethereum. But here's the guy that got dragged down with Ethereum, Vertasium. So those who didn't want to, haven't gotten in on Vertasium, it's, now's a great time because the... Right now, it only trades in relation to uh, Ethereum on a an exchange called Ether Delta, and Ether Delta basically you swap out your Ethereum for Vertasium, and with Ethereum going down so much, Vertasium is down at like seventy two bucks. 
I think that's going to be a great buy. Remember, this is uh, Reggie Middleton's uh, answer to the the three hundred trillion dollar capital market problems, and uh, I, I'm really excited about that. Still hasn't come out on an exchange because they think it's going to be way too popular. I believe that's why. So they they need Veritasium. Um, the exchanges need uh, shares of it or coins, tokens, in order for them to trade it. <clears throat> so none of the big exchanges have have brought it out. When it does got, get brought out into the exchanges, I expect a huge pop up there. So if you're looking for something, Vertasium is good. And that's your uh, update for the cryptos. Nothing new. Nothing new. This is this is what the cryptos do. This is what a free market does. Um, and this is a very thinly traded free market. And there's big, big, big money wanting to get in. And they're only going to buy at times like now when the prices you know get slammed down. So don't expect this downdraft to last too long. But uh, you weren't going to sell your cryptos anyway. Remember that. You weren't going to sell your cryptos anyway. Uh, and come September, October, November, December, 2018, 2019, 2020, you're going to be really happy that you got in on the ground floor and you wrote out all the volatility and the excitement. Speaking of non-volatility and non-excitement, here's the silver market. There's yesterday's flash crash slam. Uh, recovered very quickly. Clearly, it is a violation of the trading rules on the COMEX. Clearly, the COMEX allowed this to happen. They haven't done anything about it, and no one will go to jail or prison because most likely it was Steve Mnuchin out of the U.S. Treasury who approved it or did that, this trade. So welcome to silver at $16, $16.50. Obviously, silver is a great time to buy and stack. Keep stacking your silver. Um, silver will be cut free one day, and 150 years of price manipulation will come roaring to the forefront probably it would close down the comics so they're kind of trying to delay it um everything's being delayed and uh the cryptocurrencies are a big part of what the good guys want to do in the transition from the old system to the new system they think if they can get the cryptocurrencies more and more popular get them in the hands of the people have people using them uh, i just yesterday got a bit pay credit card uh, it, it which is it you have to transfer your Bitcoin into fiat money to deposit within the credit card, but they make it really easy and it's all based off, uh, it's a debit card, all based off the amount of Bitcoin that you own. So uh, check that out at BitPay. And I mean, for those who say, no, you can't buy anything with Bitcoin, sure, you can with this credit card that does the conversion for you. So it's very, a debit card, it's very easy. Um, and I ex expect you all to get one of those. It's pretty cool. And there's more coming out. Uh, there's there's going to be uh, debit cards that just deal in tokens, and um, those are those are coming as well. It's, those probably won't catch on until the unbacked fiat system crashes, which that isn't far away. But again, look at silver. I mean, silver. What you can blame right here in this 10-year chart, the 2011 highs, the JP Morgan's May 1st Operation Silver Slam. And then this is all U.S. government price suppression right through there. And all the mining companies didn't say a word. No mining company should, CEO should still be running a company. Uh, Keith Newmeyer is probably the only one who spoke out about it, out about it. And um, anybody invested in mining companies, I think, is insane. Uh, the reason being, obviously, that when silver breaks three is 200 300 400 dollars an ounce, uh, all these silver mines will be nationalized around the world. And uh, there's no getting away with it. I mean, the, the world won't have any money unless they all go to cryptocurrencies and, and don't use silver at all. Um, but I don't think that's going to happen. I think it's going to be a, a combination of the cryptos and silver and gold. Probably very little silver because it will be too expensive. Very exciting time for silver. And... Coming up to the 4th of July, I'm expecting fireworks. Hopefully, silver will be bottoming right before the 4th and just say, boom, take off from there uh, throughout the rest of the year. All right, let's run through some of the Zero Hedge um, news, which is always a great place to get news. Here's a really interesting one. CNN caught cold in undercover sting. Producer admits Russia fake news story push for ratings. And the CEO of CNN, Jeff Zucker, said in our internal meeting, sorry about that, 
He said, good job, everybody, covering the climate accords. But we're done with it. Let's get back to Russia. And they go on in this sting. And, and the, uh, one of the senior executives at CNN says it's all for ratings. That, my friends, is, I, I would say it's sedition. It's an attempt to overthrow the government for whatever purpose you, your purpose is. But it is definitely an attempt, an illegal, I would say it's an illegal attempt to uh, promulgate false news and overthrow our sitting government. These guys belong in jail. Treason, my friend. Uh, uh, Fang stocks tumble to one week lows. I don't know what's going to happen in the stock market. Obviously, the stock market is red gun computer, so they can make it go to zero. They can make it go to uh, 100,000. They can make it go anywhere they want. The question is, where do they want it to go? In 2008, they could have done the same thing. It was clear to me that they tried to force the crash. Uh, the good guys who control the system with electronic blips. I think uh, Greenspan was uh, helping out there obviously because of his involvement over the last 40 years of the price suppression. Um, so, uh, you know, I, I would guess they're going to go for hyperinflation, $100,000 Dow. But, you know, the, the problem is that it only serves a small portion of the, the public, the rich, keeps the system going. So um, they might try to go for it this summer and then, but at the same time they can pull a plug. So... <laughs> You know, that's the problem with these manipulated markets is that you don't know which way the the people in charge are going to push the price of oil, of gas, of silver, um, you name it. So good luck with that. You can go to a non-manipulated market, which is the cryptocurrencies. Yes, there's little manipulations. They, they, traders try to force your direction one way or the other. I still believe there is a core group um, who are going to buy at the bottoms and make sure that the... Uh, the cryptocurrencies are in play when the banks go down probably the end of this year and that would be great if they were in play because like you can get your use your debit card uh, you can go completely around the unbacked fiat monetary system very interesting global massive cyber attack hits ukraine russia uk norway denmark spain ukraine's uh ukraine's deputy prime minister Pavlo Rozinko said the government's computer network was shut down in what he claims was a massive cyber attack, one which claimed the central bank power plant and airport and promptly accused Russia of being behind it. Yes, the, the wars of the future will be cyber wars, so uh, really interesting how that's all going to work. Keep your Bitcoin in your own possession off the grid. Um, everybody should know that by now. Same with your gold and silver. Trump is increasingly frustrated with Russia over North Korea trade, says Reuters. Two weeks after Trump's ominous China tried and failed to contain North Korea tweet, the U.S. president appears to be getting closer to that default condition in U.S.-China relations, which many had anticipated from day one, a not particularly cooperative one. As a result, Reuters reports that Trump is increasingly frustrated with China over both North Korea and trade differences. Um... I think they're working together behind the scenes. It's kind of like uh, you know Trump saying he's mad at Putin. That's there's other things going on behind the scenes. The takedown of the bad guys is what's really hot and heavy behind the scenes. Um, what will happen with North Korea? I don't know. I don't know. It's the last bastion of hope for the bad guys. I think um, so. When North Korea is either taken out or complies with the rest of the world, um, things will change, and that uh, probably a good thing. All right, let's go out town to interesting ones. Hong Kong microcaps crash amid market-wide margin calls. The domino effect margin calls are what adds rocket fuel to the fire. And we're going to see this in every market coming up. Luckily, there's not a lot of... There's, there's some, definitely some uh, margin within the exchanges. Um, highly rehypothecated for, for uh, the cryptocurrencies. Just like all other exchanges, you know, it's not like they they buy and sell shares and put them in your name and sign all the documentation. Over 300 million shares every single day are deemed failure to delivers, meaning there's no money that's exchanged, there's no contract signs, there's no change of ownership. Uh, it's a con game, and every single exchange is like that. So get your 
Bitcoin, get your uh, Litecoin. Get get some Litecoin also, by the way. Sell some of your Bitcoin for some Litecoin because Litecoin, I think, is going to take over as the um, means of exchange that Bitcoin doesn't seem to be wanting to do. It's too expensive. Um, even with the current proposed fixes, it'll be too expensive to use Bitcoin for means of exchange on the on the small items. So get your Litecoin, uh, which is the next best thing. Faster, better, uh, as far as you know, the, the 7 billion people who will want to use something when the banks crash. <laughs> I think that's a huge buy right now. I think it's under $40. So yes, if you're looking to get into cryptos, that's a big one. Um, and all the other big ones. Uh, let's see. Tesla slot slips after German watchdog warns self-driving cars are unsafe. It is way too early to implement self-driving cars. Someday, yeah. Way too early for these cars to be on the road. I, I would The liability to, for these car companies and whoever made the software must be outrageous. Um, so, yeah, Tesla, I think, is insane to put out self-driving cars. I think anybody is. Uh, let's see. Case Schiller home price growth slows as San Francisco bubble continues to deflate. Sad days for San Francisco. Sad days for the housing market are coming up. Just imagine when the banks hiccup. I think four banks have gone down in Italy now. The bank hiccup is beginning. And remember, nobody can buy a house if it's for cash. Not one. Only people with enough cash to buy a house. So the housing prices. I expect to drop 90%. How fast? I don't know. Martin Armstrong says, you know, 2036 is the bottom of the housing market. Um, but yeah, I expect absolutely the when the banks have troubles um, and aren't lending and a lot of people are halfway through buying a house and they can't get it to go through at the very end because the banks don't have any money, uh, you can see that the price of houses just dropped to 1950s numbers, in my opinion. We'll find out, huh? Syria denies plans for chemical attack as Russia slams U.S. warning as unacceptable. So they blame Trump for uh, uh, bombing Syria on false uh, pretenses. Remember the media was like, oh, you got to bomb Syria, you got to bomb Syria. Now they're saying, uh, you know, you shouldn't bomb Syria. Your military told you not to. He's bombed an empty airfield, my friends. <laughs> it was all to keep the... Uh, the media off his back, and it, it did well, truthfully. You know, even CNN was saying, oh, we love Trump. And now CNN's uh, in, in a little bit of the hot water, and should be, absolutely. They're, they're trying to cause havoc in the U.S. government, in the presidency. I mean, that's sedition. It's a law against that. Uh, hopefully they'll be called to task. They kind of are being called to task with their ratings going down the toilet, but uh, we'll see what happens. Bank of England orders banks to boost capital to protect from rising risks. It is twice annual in its twice annual financial stability report. The Bank of England's Fisc financial policy committee said that there are pockets of risk in the financial system, and to address them, the Bank of England set the countercyclical capital buffer at 0.5 percent of risk-weighted assets. For UK loans effective June 2018, and if nothing material changes, the central bank plans to increase the level to 1% in November. Clearly, there's problems with banking. I mean, anybody who denies it is, is just closing their eyes. They're printing money, and money flows into very risky assets, and then when it reverses, we have a crash. This is going to be the mother of crashes. The question is, when are they going to stop clicking that damn mouse? Steve Mnuchin, stop clicking that damn mouse. <laughs> Bernie Sanders, love Bernie, but he's going down. Dodges questions about FBI probe. This is a probe into his wife's uh, criminal dealings, I believe, uh, when she was uh, running a very, very, very liberal college that has now gone bankrupt uh, because of a deal she did. And uh, Yeah, poor Bernie. <laughs> He's trying to set, change the subject. I love Bernie. He was trying to take down the system. And he was trying to take it down from a you know the wrong stance, you know. The, the, but but the he was he was appealing to those in the Obama they were beneficiaries of the Obama money printing, giving out and the welfare state. And Bernie was like, I can save you. Let's give everybody free money. So uh yeah. I don't think much will come of this. Um, I think Trump will 
cut it off. Trump and Bernie are buddies, so uh, yeah, his wife wasn't you know she was a liberal who was given the ability to create money out of thin air, and they get carried away. <laughs> All right, uh, let's go to. Trump slams latest CNN fake news scandal. What about all the other phony stories? True, there's a lot of phony stories. There's a lot of true stories, too. Um, do I think uh, Trump and Putin were colluding? Yeah, on, on some level. But I, I think they were colluding to take down the, the deep state in the background. Um, I think China was in on that collusion as well. And you know, a lot of the good guys, as I call them. So it, it's not what the CNN fake news is saying. It's something deeper um, but CNN will still run with it because it's for their ratings. Imagine if they didn't have that. Who'd watch CNN? Uh, right now it's just Antifa people. <laughs> the left is left. Uh, Draghi, who cares what Draghi says? Google fined a record 2.4 billion euro for skewing search results in European antitrust ruling. Google suffered a major regulatory blow on Tuesday when the EU's antitrust regulator fined Alphabet's Google a record $2.42 billion for abusing its dominance in search and favoring its own comparison shopping service in search results. Yes, Google is way too big and way too corrupt, and they should start getting more and more fines. I think the big fines should come in uh, censoring the news on YouTube. But... That's their right. It's their company. That's a free market, my friends. But they do definitely have a monopoly. They have monopoly type powers, uh, being the largest search engine and owning so many other companies, uh, social media companies. All right. That's it for me today. Again, keep an eye on the cryptos. Uh, crypto should be bottom, bottoming any day now. <laughs> but if, you know, if you're, you're in it like me for the long haul, uh, knowing that this is the change in the way we do business and not just a, a, a bubble type one time thing, you just sit and wait. And if you're not, if you didn't get in in the beginning, it, now's a good time to get in. Some of these uh, cryptocurrencies are down thirty percent. Great time to buy. Then again, for the year, they're still all up pretty much. So it is volatile. Yes, there's no doubt. So um, these should be the time, maybe even dollar cost average in. Uh, look like a hero to your friends by the end of the year. Anyway, this is Vic Swear. Don't forget to thumbs up this video. Send it to your friends. Go to roadtoruta.com for the real stuff. Join the public road. Put your name and address in and you get free emails and a free book. Join the private road. You get $30 in Ethereum. Hard wallet sent to your front door. That's pretty cool. Anyway, this is Big Square. We'll talk to you later.